Welcome back to East Texas Live. Let's go ahead and toss it over to Carson Vicroy. Carson, I am so excited about oh, that yeah. forecast that you have for the next couple of days. Oh, come on, Corinne. You gave the secret away. I'm sorry. I was just too excited. I had to go ahead and tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. And, you know, I may have teased it and then given it away in the tease. So that's true. Who knows? We're yeah, I mean, guilty. that's certainly possible. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what I said, but <laughs> I will remember this. There's a cold front on the way, so you're certainly there correct is. about that. I mean, and you would think if the trees weren't green there in the background that the cold front would already be here because we've got plenty of sunshine front typically moves through you can see sinking air behind the front you don't have clouds in the sky well that's not quite the case yet but here it is cold front is still well off to our north and to our west it is actually beginning to slide through the panhandles of oklahoma and texas right now it's right on the doorstep of amarillo and there's an area of a couple of showers right now still out by wichita falls but it is struggling to move off to the east because the air mass here in east texas and east Oklahoma it's a little more stable so I continue to watch this front and look at this look at the difference between Amarillo and Dallas right now my goodness that is 14 degrees it is 75 in the Amarillo Panhandle and 89 at the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport you know a lot of people hate on West Texas because of the um, lack of scenery first off I think the scenery is great out there for anybody from West Texas but I mean it's hard to argue with the dry heat they have out there and those temperatures that you know are in the 70s, they get the colder air before we do, but eventually we'll get the colder air and we also have the pine trees here. Temperatures in the middle to upper 80s right now. It is 87 in Jacksonville, 85 in Tyler, 84 in Mineola, and it's 84 in Athens. And you can see the dew points. This is the gross part of it, y'all. We are seeing those dew points in the 70s, so it's going to be very humid. It's going to be miserable to be outside today. So we're just going to have to hold on Stay Texas tough, but tomorrow things do begin to change and we're going to set the stage for you on Futurecast. We're 80s, 90s right now. We might be in the middle to upper 90s for forecast high temperatures today. This is 8 o'clock. Notice temperatures still in the 80s. Front off to our northwest. The moisture increases a little bit. You can see that by the cloud cover by tomorrow morning. So picture the stratus that we had this morning, those lower clouds. That's about what we're going to have tomorrow morning. So be prepared for, you know, maybe some drizzle and maybe some fog on your way to work tomorrow. There's the front off to the northwest. This is going to start to slide into the area. And as it does, it could bring some showers and thunderstorms. You see that down in deep east Texas where we're having the 70s and 80s by then. This will slide to the southeast, but as it does, it's going to significantly decrease our rain chances for the remainder of the area. And there you go. We're in the 70s by 7 o'clock and we plummet into the 50s. Now, this model overdoes it. We're not going to be in the 40s to start out Wednesday morning, but it will be much cooler uh, Wednesday morning than what we see tomorrow morning. Isolated shower chances to the northwest of the front here in the early afternoon. Better rain chances closer to the evening in deep east Texas. I'm not necessarily concerned about severe weather, but if those storms do happen to form a little earlier than expected, they could be a little stronger from about 5 to 7 o'clock in deep east Texas. So just keep your eye on it. We hit 95 degrees today. Hot, humid, miserable. 74 for a low temperature tonight. Mostly clear skies guys, so we're missing out on the rain, but clouds do increase as we go into tomorrow. After the front rolls through, we'll see the sunshine. That's why I've got us partly cloudy skies. Front arrives, temperatures in the 80s the rest of the way, and it is going to be pretty nice. Look at that low to middle 80s through Friday for deep east Texas before we ultimately heat up again by the upcoming weekend. For the latest weather forecast, you can head on over to KETK.com. Carson,